Hiya, right, if you're a lecturer for landlord and want to know if buy-to-lets will continue to be profitable over the next couple of years, then stay with me for a few minutes because being a lecturer for landlord is undoubtedly a challenge at the moment. Um, the glory days of making easy money out of property with increased legislation, increased taxation, further EPC rules uh, coming in in three years, which means that you've got to spend more money on property and now we've got cost of living crisis so the newspaper are full of stories to do with landlords are going to be in a lot of trouble because interest rates are rising and they're going to be going into the red and all that sort of thing now the fact is rates are going up so let's look at it in five year fixed at 75 percent loan to value uh, last year this time last year was 1.86 roughly and now it's 4.36 or you could get fixed to that at sort of level so you're looking at 250 pound a month extra in interest on an interest only mortgage um, now just some stats landlord mortgages are 237 billion in the uk so that means that you know in effect it's over seven billion pounds is just going to be extra interest payments going for landlords now let's carry on the negativity because the media are brilliant at this and they're comparing quarter two last year to this year in terms of repossessions and possession orders. So landlord possession orders for arrears are up 160%. Um, landlord possession orders in general for everything is 164. Warrants in terms of getting bailiff orders is up 104%. And actual landlord repossessions, as in they can't afford it anymore, is up 210%. So judging by everything I've just said, it doesn't sound great for landlords. However, if you look past the headlines and the, the doom mongering mood hoovering that's going on, the thing, the, the stats I've got here, the 80% of buy select mortgages are interest only compared to 12% of residential mortgages. So that means that the, the mortgage payments are much lower for landlords than they are for uh, residentials because they're not clearing the capital. The other thing as well is over 93% of landlords fixed their interest rate in the last two years. Um, so, and that means that nearly 75% of all mortgages for landlords are actually fixed. So their payments will actually stay the same. Yes, they're going to be up for renewal, but at the moment they're staying the same. The other, the other staggering statistic here is 70% of landlords uh, don't have a mortgage. So they're not affected by interest rate movements. And so these things are negligible and actually the rent rises are, are benefiting them hugely, which comes on to the next thing. Rents are 7.6% higher in Letchworth than they were a year ago. So this helps with the increase of payments that are coming in. The thing as well is the, um, the possession orders I was talking about earlier, those stats seem high, um, but, that's on 4.4 million rental properties there currently is, yeah? So basically it's saying that two, just over 2% have arrears bad enough to have a landlord have to start possession, uh, you know, possession proceedings. And 0.05% of tenants were actually evicted through the courts in the last year. So in reality, those stats that sound very big aren't as bad. <clears throat> the thing to remember as well with, a, with landlords is if you are a landlord, you've got nearly a 300% more chance of having arrears issues with tenants than if you actually have your property managed by an agent. So consider to whether there is value in an agent because I know that there's fees involved in having it managed, but it, think of it more as an insurance to if things are done properly, how this these situations can be mitigated. So the bottom line is that property investment and the good old days of just buying a house and having it in, it's gonna make you loads of money. They're sort of gone at the moment. Um, but the, the, the bottom line is that property investment is, is in the long term is always gonna be a great investment and continues to be a profitable investment. So that's the sort of view on the market currently. If you've got any questions or need any rental advice or support, then give me a call and I'll catch you soon.